Split Vivo key on the attacking half. Already see a couple of Astral Stars. One headed towards Mail, one up towards Ropes. Give him a bit of room to work with across the middle of the map. Kazan is in a great spot, though. Dealt a little bit of damage, backs up off. The Roomba's coming right his way. So, yeah, he's going to have to give that space up for sure. Vivo had a lot of stars over towards A already. Just giving a lot of distraction to what crew might be setting up on this round, and they're pressuring that utility. Nags to start it off with a nice ghost frag. Yeah, NTK's been cleaned up, and there was a bit of pressure that was pulling off, but no, it looks like they may want to go back towards A. There's so much being invested from both of these teams. They both cool. drop members. Kesnit. Joe drops as well as Kesnit Kesnit. looking for another one. He is able to clean that up. Crew just really wiped the floor in the pistol. Wow, at coming up huge on that. Kesnit having the wherewithal to keep the eyes on that roll area, get a few more jumps in, take that for himself. Honestly, this guy coming in after Iceland picked up on the team as a streamer, and he stays on the team when he was picked up because of plays like that, because he just was so damn good. That's one round for crew. We got a lot more game to go, and we'll see if this Vivo Keyed squad can put a little bit of fire into this bonus, or uh, second round. Crew now, has weapons on. Now, Riv, I always get a little hot and bothered when I see a judge. Ooh. And that's exactly what Nags is going to be using. You see him playing across mid. While for Vivo Keed, again, on the attacking half. Mm -hmm. A little touch and go towards Garage. Spike isn't over there. Seems like they're waiting for a bit of aggression. The alarm bot's going to give away the positioning of NTK, at least early on. I like, that, so far. I like that jump in by Vivo there. The nade came in. You saw that it was NTK to jump in after. So if there was the back of an enemy, he would find it. So already trying to just get away with a specter or something. And now it's going to be much harder. Oh, 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 the ponytail there in Heat's eyes, but not enough to get that first blood. The thing is here for Vivo Key 2, you don't have very many options, right? So the wall has gone up from mm -hmm. the Xeno to deny entry in towards B. They don't Oop. have... Oh, next set! <laughs> that's a nope. Yeah, that's a warning shot is what that is. It's back up, bro. <laughs> he ain't getting in here. But because the wall is up, right? Like, you don't... It, it's so difficult. I know we've touched on this before, but it's so difficult to get through that wall when you have nothing but pistols. It just yeah. takes forever, right? Having to claw through that thing. So the wall goes down. They've bought enough time. Now they're going to go. But you've got Kazan with the raise oh, name. My goodness! Down, the triple right off the bat. They were waiting for the wall to go down. It does, and it almost seems like they would... Regret it. NTK and Vixen are going to fall as well. Kesnick gets to four. Crew get to two. That was nasty. It wasn't even the paint shells. It was the pop. It was the first. Oh, my word. That is just disgusting. Well played. Also positions himself well in front of the Astral Star so it doesn't give him any problems. Picks up three there with a quick assist as well. Going to uh, his team. What a round coming in there. It looks like uh, Marie's going to be feeling good now. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Uh, Kesnick. Yeah, no, I think he's I think he's fine. He's now two points away from having a showstopper. Oh my word, so We're just early. now entering round three, exactly. Very early, well uh, ahead of schedule for Vivo Kid here. It's the first round they're gonna have rifles. You see the ultra just goes into the pockets of the Xeno. Good focus. So they focus, yeah, you're right. The western side of the map, they're able to, to focus that orb, get it into the pockets of the Sage, and hopefully bring that into the next couple of rounds. So far, having Joe on the flank now, looking at Vivo Keed's side. They are split 4-1 towards mid. This is yeah. an area they've been able to grab each time. And the wall, once again, goes up broken instantly, though. So the pressure stays in mid for Vivo Keed. And just really like cutting noise. I, I think you you had the in the previous round it was the wall and then it was the nade that, that caused problems. This time it was the nade initially pushed them off. Then the wall goes up and as you mentioned, now that they have better weapons, they're going to be able to work their way through that. You've got Delzik in a great spot. He's got nothing but a specter, but he should get a decent amount of info. 44 seconds left in the round. You see some of the rotates already coming out from Kesnit from Defender Spawn. They want to go that way. They also have keep an eye on that Astra Star up in heaven. Play, there it is. The gravity wall comes out. He's going to dash in onto the site. And NTK is already good for one. The wall's going up as well. And Joe gets in on the action. Vivo Key just cracked the site wide open. And this is really great from Vivo Key. The setup that Crew had with their alarm bot on A, watching Heaven, watching the ramp, allowed Crew to rotate early, but Vivo Key coming up with some great first shots to make this one work for themselves. Vixen will make it a little harder, along with extra slow utility for any of these members of Crew to get in. Let's see how they do finally pressure this one. Nags could be waiting for the flank to come in. Is he see him working the judge slow to do as much damage as possible before he's found? Yeah. Or maybe even just get a couple of exits along the way. You see him positioning for that. It does look like he'll stall that. there, yeah. Yeah, so just wait. Oh, boy. Couple... 
Cut the angle. Yep. To the face. Nags it. Oh dear. Where is it's like he knows, right? Spidey sense is tingling. The swing out is there. He's good for one. Again. Oh, this is all like blow up. Cause as much damage as possible. Oh, Cause was all the use. I don't know if he got it to half. He should have gotten close. So Nags it oh. gets three. It was spicy. It was fun to watch. But Vivo Keter on the board. I like that. They're gonna. They're, the round goes to Vivo Key, but Crew makes it a little bit more painful. These teams reading each other well. The ins and the outs right now. We'll see how Vivo Key continues to play this spread map. It does not look like they will have Joe go over towards the A side right away this time. Spike has been in hand for most of the time. So Vivo Key is playing a lot of what's happening in the middle of the round. Quick split decisions and making a move off of that pressure gain. Let's see if they can do it here. Bladestorm from Nagzet. It is the lockdown for Joe. Not only that, but for Vivo Keat specifically, it's a heavy lean towards B. You saw the op out from Nags that wasn't able to connect anything. There's the lockdown that you mentioned, is it's going to clear out space towards B. There's nothing that they really have as far as a counter to clear out that lockdown, so they have to wait it out, and then they move forward. Definitely a lot of thought going into this round with Crew defending. All the Astrid utilities over at A, but that means it's bodies at B. Can Vivo Key do it again? And Crew is striking true. Crew just refused to give up an inch, although Joe got two there at the end to keep things close, but Klaus gets to three. And I think one of the things we have to talk about, Riv, is Klaus and his turret placement. That's now two rounds in a row, if, if I will allow you to bring you back <laughs> to that triple with the nade. It was the turret playing contact, and it wasn't just that it played contact and got info, but it also dealt a good bit of damage in that yeah. round. This time the turret was causing problems problems from up in heaven out of Klaus, delayed the entry in from BK, and allowed the rest of the members of crew to swing around and just clean it up, and they are yep. fired up. And, and if, that's got to feel good, because that was a read on the lockdown coming in to round four. As we move into round five, three to one, crew brings it back into their favor a bit, and we have that eco now for Vivo Keat. Nags it once again on a judge and the blade storm in his pocket as well. For Vivo Keed, they've struggled a bit. Uh, and we haven't really seen a hit towards A at all. It's been a whole lot of B and it's been a whole lot of mid. Well, that may have been a bit more than he bargained for, but Mirrors with a nice trade. I punish you. Delzik answers back with two very fast. NTK is going to second guess heading into that mid area. And none of those sheriffs able to really grab what they needed. They can't recoup Kesnit's weapon. So it is just going to be looking to push in. Is that wall up? There's a wall, so they may look to grab one wall and plant for that 300. Oh! Nice Certainly defense. didn't feel good. Yeah, you see awesome uh, utility usage there. You've got the Nano Swarm, you've got the Gravity Well as well, so catch them in the right spot, and, and HP just gets shredded in those instances. For Vivo Key, they try testing the water towards B, see if they could find a way in. Not going to be an option. Delza can take in the middle of the map as well, and I love that, right? It, at the end of the day, it's just a pistol, but that's methodical, yep. right? You understand where the pressure is. You're able to deny some of the space on opposite sides of the map and, and really take real estate away, right? Remove options, remove room for them to move, for them to breathe, and it just causes so many problems, and you see that here for Vivo Key. It's just NTK. He has nowhere to go. Yeah, it's good to still see the pressure. Crew fans are going to be happy, but like you said, also puts that mental into Vivo Key. They're probably not going to gain any ground very easily if they start losing members. Crew is ready to push forward and be aggressive. Delzik here with the first two before he capitalized on the last in mid. Just methodical, surgical. Enter round six, crew with a three round lead. You've got an op in the hands of Nagzet. He's given up the judge for a slightly more exciting, arguably, yeah. slightly more exciting weapon, although the judge certainly makes a case for itself. Still has that blade storm online, and mid presence continues to be the key. This time you've got the slow orb with the nades, and again, for crew, their utility usage has been so good, Rip. And it, you can see the flow of the map as well as Vivo tries to read the utility coming in. KJ for crew over on B now. The first few rounds that are really susceptible to being rushed on or heavy util just to get a plant down, they want the KJ util there. So varying up the way this works. Oh my word, right to the nose of Mazzino, but he stays alive and gets himself a little healed. Wall gets taken out and folks, we've been here before, right? Wall goes up, wall gets blasted down and it's enough out of Vivo Key to make crew think about it, right? Have they have we lost mm -hmm. control of mid? The nice thing for them is they have that turret one more time that's playing contact for entry into heaven. So they know that nobody's worked their way up that way, and that's why they're sitting tight. I like this. The rope game becomes the mental game. 
if Vivo Key can actually get crew to rotate. They're playing a very solid 3-2, though. A good lean can already happen from Nagzat, but Wuri's is going to start this one off a lot differently. First blood there for Vivo Key. Very nice shot. 30 seconds Again, left. and it was playing contact off of the turret. Tess gets in a great spot here. And then, nice distraction. And it was good for one. Nagzat's Blade Storm was able to get one as well. Klaus still playing down on the side as the spike goes down. It's just one member remaining on the side of crew as Delzix on the opposite side of the wall. You can pick up the op. Hey, does he go for it here? Ten seconds left. Double 3K? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, great to see from Vivo Key that round. Multiple points of execution when they did decide to go in. A lot of the rounds have been uh, milling about, understanding that they have mid, and it just seemed like crew still had a lockdown on each site. But the multi-prong attack for that one. Definitely giving Vivo Keed a bit of an uh, advantage. And Vixen's going to meet up with Delzik here. I think he hears the steps. No! Op not going to be carried forward. We talked about whether or not that would be a potential. Well, certainly what he was trying to do there, but just not going to pass the turn around. And again, we've got to talk about that shot from Yuri's there because he was playing contact off of the turret, but the swing was great. The shot was great. Nullifies that pressure. And that's been the choke point that they've had a hard time getting past, yeah. right? Like, that's been the problem area for the last couple of rounds. Big win there for Vivo Kid. So we got a Spectre on Nag, and that's about it. They should be pretty good off here. A few light armors there could make the difference in a quick trade. A lot of Vandals on the side of Vivo Key to make those headshots count. One away from five alts, NTK needs an orb. Vivo Key looking like they got some momentum. Mazino just gets his res. And again, it's been, what, three, four rounds now that crew have just been able to farm that orb in B Garage. It's all been going into Mazzino's pockets. And as you said, Riff, that was the instance where he got that res online. He... Great he trade. Up. Yeah, excellent trade. He did get tagged up for it, but he gets away with it. Right behind each other, ready to throw pies if one the other one misses. Heat now with the shot towards the backside of this uh, defending heaven area on A. And seeing the Sage, I believe they'll oh, they'll big. hold this strong. But Vivo Keed comes up with two very nicely over towards B. This could be a big swing. Yeah, they are going to go ahead and rotate. They've gotten into B. And it's not just that they've gotten into B. Really, they've been able to work every single facet yeah. of the map that yeah. they want to. And take a look at where Muris is at this point. He's deep in, de in defender spawn. There's really nowhere for Klaus to go. He does get the kill on Vixen and get the lockdown online. But the spike should go down B. You see the remaining members hunting. Klaus down, he's only down to 13 health. Joe's gonna get the spike down. Vivo Keed should presumably win this round. Lockdown's there for Klaus into next round for crew, but you're still looking at all of those alts. You didn't really need too many to go into this round unless he come up with his. We didn't see too much action other than his operator to start. And I don't think they needed to activate it for this. Spike's been planted. It's just waiting waiting this one out. And not much more hunting will be done with Marisa's damage taken. But Vivo Keed showing very impressive here. Not deterred by the fact they were down a few rounds. And they're, I wouldn't say running the same strats. They're getting to the same points, but varying up the way they are pushing forward with the utility to cause crew uh, to diff rotate differently each time. A lot of that's just been through mid, too, though. Mm -hmm. Just walking up to that zipline area, making sure they have control, making a lot of noise. Tagged up to 13. Oh, my word. I was like, keep the op. Guy, yeah. keep the op. It's not worth it. I know you want to go for it. I would swing for it there, but don't do it. Keep the op. You're right, though. For Vivo Key, that's a big round, right? They've been able to get a couple here. They're starting to bridge that gap back. That is two. The last two rounds going in favor of the defending uh, of the attacking side, excuse me, representatives from Brazil looking to cause a splash, looking to make their way into the knockout stages. Crew, light by here, Nagzet. We talked about that op. We were able to carry boop, boop. it forward. It is yeah. going to be in Nagzet's hands. Meanwhile, he, with the blade sword, it may not be a marshal, but he's pretty good with this, too. If crew pick up this round versus five alts, it's oh, un what? unheard of. No. Oh, he put, put right out of the zoom just in time. Unlucky, Maurice really. takes down Dalzik to start things off. Fix it with 4 HP. Whoa. We sung Heat's praises, and he swung around the corner with the blade storm. Was looking to hit a little burst action. Instead, he gets a Sheriff shell to the face and gets dropped for Vivo Keed here. They're continuing to work the spike closer and closer towards A. Delzik's going to get the res, and it's interesting that they're willing to invest this much. Again, remember, folks, they don't have much as far as weapons go. 
There's the lockdown out. That's going to spread most of the site. You only have the back left to be hiding in, but it's all Vivo Keyed ready to defend on this one. Spike planted. Oh, Luris with a push. Yeah, I love this. Take the space away, the space that you've earned from the lockdown. The showstopper not connecting. You see the cosmic divide is coming out as well, making the retake from crew so much more oh, difficult. They're going to have to push into that. The good Monster. thing is they do have Naxet, who's gotten in a little bit further. Class is able to trade out Muris as they continue to work their way towards the site. Wall's going to go up. Joe playing down low. We've also got Vixen in a decent spot. Second lockdown's going to come out. He's going to push things out right into Nagzet's lap. But Vixen, is Vixen going to get the timing? Slowly but surely swings around. Vixen gets the shots. Klaus able to trade it out. A 1v1. How have they gotten this far? This is beyond me. Klaus with the tap. A 1v1. The shots that kill the 3k. But I don't know that he's going to have time for the defuse. No, he's going to drop. We're tied up at four apiece. Wow, these rounds are coming down to the last drop. And that was another one coming up for Vivo. Just back and forth. Only a few ultimates used there as crew just completely negated on that site take with what happened on the lockdown. It was tough for him to get back in and Vixen with the patience to come around on the backside there to make sure things go their way. So Klaus here. Woo. On point with that shot. Vivo feeling it right now as they get a quite a bit of momentum here to bring it back three in a row. We'll see if they can bring that to a fourth. It was three in a row, but that still was an expensive round for Absolutely. Vivo Keed. You saw, it's not up anymore, but yeah, I think he spent close to 7,400 credits, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, they had to allocate some funds around different accounts in order to make this work. So while the round did go in favor of Vivo Keed, I think it's a financial win for crew to hurt economy as much as they can, given the lead that Vivo Keed has been able to put together. The thing is, though, for crew, you've got to capitalize on that here. Yeah. Right, another Ult Orb going into the pockets of Mazzino, this time on A. Star coverage in mid coming in from Vixen, so Vivo Keed again can work to that comfortable position that they have in front of them. Most of the KJ Util now sitting up in heaven so they can be alerted with that turret again yep. in its defensive position for both entries into the site. Not too much movement from crew just yet. They feel comfortable with what they have set up. I, I like the fact that they're pushing Vivo Keed to make the move. But Vivo Keed, after that move, tends to react faster. So they have a little bit of room to work with towards A. You just saw, too, all of that Killjoy utility you were touching on. It was the Alarm Bot, it was the Nano Swarm, and then it was the Turret. First, they clear out the Alarm Bot and the Nano Swarm because it gets popped right off of contact. Then the Turret gets cleared out. Left. Vivo Keed but have slowly but methodically really picked this round apart, Rip. Yeah, every little chance that crew had to say information can be gained here. We have an advantage in heaven, have been taken away slowly. And now Kaznit has that elbow on hold. Showstoppers out. Oh, lands of shots too. 11 seconds left on the round. The spike is just now making left. its way forward. And the thing is, Kaznit still has that spot. The nade, the nade, the nade. The nade stopped it, but the spike did go down. Excuse me, Vixen's up top in heaven. He's already gotten three, dropping down, looking to land a fourth as Nagzet is alone. In a 1v2, Naxet slowly remaining. on the swing, drops things down to a 1v1. Oh, wait a minute. Show, surely you check that, right? Surely you don't let him take that out. The tap, he got it to half. Naxet sw swinging around just outside of his smoke. The tap again, forcing Joe to swing out. But does he call the bluff? No, Joe's so patient. Naxet's not going to get a chance at this. This fight continues to tick away. Naxet gets tired, he gets frustrated, and he's going in for the kill. And Joe says, not today. Got to point something out there, Doug. The diffuse on the left side of the spike allowed Joe to see the color of the spike before seeing his opponent. The color of the spike can tell you whether they're diffusing or not. If it's red, you got to make him dead. If it's blue, it's completely a fake. He was seeing that it was blue and didn't have to fully show himself. Man, I thought you were going to rhyme something off of the blue. I'm sorry. I was with this. I'm sorry. Red, got to make him dead. Okay, yeah, I'm blue. No, nothing. Blue, it's not true. Blue, it's not. I like that. There you go. We'll carry there you that go. Really thing. smart play there on just a simple defuse. You talk about momentum shift, right? The thing is, I we talk we touch on that a lot, but that's because this game is so generally swingy, right? Like a team can get momentum, get a yeah. couple of rounds together, rattle off something crazy, and all of a sudden you blink and you're like, what on earth just happened? And that's exactly what crew are looking to avoid here. I believe it's been four rounds in a row from Vivo Keed after an excellent start from crew. They were up 4-1. At one point, and things have just kind of shifted. Vivo Keed have had their options. They've, they've really had their way with things. But again, we've got to talk about the economy. Because for Crew, they haven't won the last couple of rounds, but every round has been close, yeah. right? They've had to invest really big on gun rounds. And you got to wonder there for Vivo Keed, at what point does that break, right? Like, when is that not enough? Uh, 
That's a really, really good question. Looking at the way Vivo Keed has been playing these rounds, I feel like the, they're getting away without using too much utility, too, to make their way in and have these rounds so they're not having to reinvest in a bunch of satchels. Maybe one was used or the full utility of Zhou within those situations. So you can see the bankrolls they have right now in 3,000 coming in per round. 4,500 out of Vixen, 47 out of All those stars. Of yeah. It's just it's it's been a, for the galaxy. It's been very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. You're right. For You're BOC. absolutely right. And for crew here, they've got sheriffs. They, they're not really going to be able to spend very much else. You've got no util on Klaus. You've got a little something to work with mm -hmm. on Mizuno. Textbook. Oof. Somehow he lives. <laughs> Cause a little noise. I do like the turret that's been dropped there from Joe. Again, playing contact. You've also got the alarm bot to make sure there's no pinch in coming in through mm -hmm. garage on B. So they're shoring up their defenses on, on at least on, on, on both sides, really, because you've got the utility from Killjoy, and then you've got Vixen, who's all the way into heaven right now. He's made his way up ramps. They can focus across the middle of the map. That's exactly what Heat's doing. Once again, clear out that turret, work the rest of the map. But Mazino. Did Mazzino hear him? Did he see him? Oh, it certainly seems that way. He's going hunting! Mazzino able to land the shot. Therese is going to come out as well. Oh. As Mazzino almost picks him out of the sky. Not able to do it. Kaznet once again using his util to cause problems. The spike is down. And he just picked it up. Muri still pushed up quite far. They have to figure he's floating around somewhere since not a lot of action was seen mid. You see how much respect that crew is giving to the left. backside of their map, thinking it's going to be a big flank the whole time. That drop-in is going to be her, and Delzik will make a call. Again, how have they Here comes a rotation. How have they gotten to this point? Bike they just had sheriffs ripped. They had sheriffs, and they've Whoa. dropped things down to a 3v1. He Del has been so good in instances like these. He's good for one. Turret out. Kesson, it's so weak as well. Thank God it's locked down. Uh -oh. Cloudburst all over the place. Where is he going to go? Kesson, it on the tap. Surely he rides that to half here. You've got Klaus who's playing on the side. It's not going to go to half heat. Playing up in heaven. Oh enemy. my goodness, what a my shot! What? I mean, what does Klaus do here? He saw set. What does Klaus do? The dash away? Timing. Spike continuing Timing. to play away, Klaus! He's going to get the defuse as well. That was unbelievable. Thrifty. Wow. That first shot made you feel like it was completely solidified for Vivo. Heat would play the back and forth game, but Klaus coming up so clutch on that round. And we were talking about it, Doug. That was the rounds that were connecting one after the other for Vivo Key. Crew needed to put a stopper in that bleeding, and they were able to. Now at five to five, our first half of split. You're looking at attack win rates, defensive win rates for these teams. Vivo Key has a 46% uh, attack win rate on this map. So all the rounds they can get here are going to help because their Vivo's defensive yeah. side yep. is quite a bit better than this. And crew, they're not going to let him get as many rounds as Vivo would like. It's interesting. Vivo Keed have not enjoyed going to A at the beginning uh, of the round. Again, so it's true. been mid, it's been B. They haven't worked very much towards A, at least initially at all. And here for, for Vivo Keed with this lean towards B, you're walking into so much KJ utility again. With slight difference on how Kuru is setting things up, they still have that turret in the same spot, but not playing the Alarm yep. Bot Nano Swarm stack up in heaven. This time it's actually down low at entrance or exit, excuse me, out of garage. Wow. Crew doing a nice job at varying up the defense. We do see that Kesnitz rotating back and forth. Three still bolstering the site. Vivo Keed again come up with the shots here separate the rounds. Not too much utility out of either side. Just kind of a, a fake in the Astra Smokes to see what kind of retaliation they might get. And it's going to be a reset. And that was such a good gravity well, right? Like, they wanted to mm -hmm. go. And mind you, they don't have a ton, right? Like, it's not like they, they have a ton to work with. Heat's the only one who's got a rifle. But they wanted to go. The gravity well really stuffed it right off the bat. 30 seconds left. They're still tacking to stacking, left. excuse me, towards B. The one difference is Heat has worked his way up mid, at least to a decent spot to cut off any sort of pinch or any rotations. Klaus is in a good spot, though. Oh, what? How does Murray's hit that? He's already gotten two. Heat's getting another one. Heat given the flank, given the phantom. How much more can this come left. into play? He hears the team rotating through heaven, can give that call. Oh, what that a hurts. nade! Oh my gosh, Kesnit! But he gets the spike one down, the blade from comes out and is, is comes out as well as Kesnit's left alone in a 1v1 with Heat. That doesn't feel good. And a whoops. Alright, here he goes, Kesnit. 
I'm repositioning hate. Heat. Just waiting. Playing up in heaven. The swing is there. He once again finds himself in a 1v1, and Kesnit answers the call with the 3k and the defuse to give crew the lead. So many angles to be aware of. Switching back and forth, but Kesnit on fire right now. Super aware of the spike plant and the chaos that it was close. A few nades in the correct spot. Mm. And this, after that gravity well you mentioned, they were finally able to get in, and it was just a family photo of crew looking around, taking pictures of Evo Keed. A few things quite what as satisfying as, like, Sheriff Hunt taps. They really are. Yeah. They feel good. Or a triple nade. Instant. Triple or that. Nades, right, instant I'll take that nade. too. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Vivo Keed opting to take a timeout here. They find themselves down one round in the opening half of this best of three. And folks, if you're just tuning in, let me set the stage for you one more time. You win, you advance to the knockout stage. You lose, yep. you're going home. Yep. It's going to be tough. Haven after this, a possible ice box after that. And it is starting to turn around here just in our first half. We are coming up to what could is uh, one of the final rounds on split. And crew had the beginning of this. Vivo keyed, able to answer back. It, it did seem like it took Vivo a little time to realize that mid control was being lost. They, Vivo was easily taking out utility that really was then stopping them to get in and further sight. So the adaptation from crew, adaptation from here. Vivo, we've seen it from both teams here in this, and that's exactly what you want in an elimination match because you can't leave anything to chance. You can't just say, this is the one way we're playing. It has to change. Look at the difference in where Klaus is set up this time. Heavy stack towards A. You've got the turret. You have all sorts of util, and you have the alarm bot to make sure there's nobody who works their way up through it ropes or chaos. up ramp to get into heaven. So I really like this setup here. They're also going to play aggressively in towards garage, get the Old Turb in the pockets of Mizino, continuing to farm that up, continuing to get that res online. And the one other thing that's got to be called out is look at where Nag Zed is, that cheeky son of a gun. He's already taken mid. Finds a way up. A lot of audio can be grabbed there. The people will run through sewers pretty much towards the top, and then that small hallway is the walk, so he can get a lot of info if Klaus does, or Joe rather, does decide to make any noise. Kaznit with the peaks understands that that's going to be used for a peak. Somebody's going to be on that, so he can call at least a few members of Vivo on A. Vivo Key to have three pretty key ultimates to work with, and Heat is just one point away from having the Blade Storm online. I'd love to take a look at where Nagzet is right now as well, because he's got a couple of really tight spots. Yeah, Nagzet's spot's been given away. He's going to have to dash away. Fortunately, gets healed by the warm, welcoming arms of Mazzino, but the position's been lost. Yeah. Oh, they're heading up towards A Heaven. Do they no lock way. down towards A? Satchel Blast to get away. HP. And now Kazan has got his own. Showstopper that oh, goes in. Muris has been cleaned up through all of that. We have two lockdowns going out as well, so absolute chaos on the side as you've got them dueling. Joe somehow dies to a nade of all things as Kesner has been pretty dang good with that bit of utility. It looks like both teams with 15 seconds left are going to have to wait this out, and then they're going to go. They don't have a lot of time to make this happen anymore. Two members remaining on the side of Evo Kido, or, or excuse me, the Cosmic Divide Spike down comes out, and he just doesn't have time. He doesn't have no nope. spike either. Crew. What a, what a play from Crew. A fantastic read. Remember what happened the first time Joe had lockdown? There was a stack towards B. They get inside Vivo's head. They say they have lockdown again. Let's stack on A. And they put the majority towards A. Well, on to Kesnit. 3v2 in favor of Vivo Keed. Again, this pistol is so important. No, surely not. You don't check the discipline corner. Are you kidding me? Klaus is just sitting there, able to get two of Vix and looking to trade it back. Three, looking oh. for the fourth one. Dels is just running away. But oh Delzik my with the word. Shot. The spike goes off. Crew win the pistol. The discipline corner indeed, Doug. They'll remember that one for the rest of this match. What a way to get two on the team during the execution retake. Beautifully done. I should play some Klaus able to figure out how to be a sneaky rat for just a moment. I mean, this guy comes over from uh, OW uh, Overwatch League as a duelist. Now on Sentinel, still dueling stuff out. Don't even worry about this guy. What a play from him. He knows what he needs to do to get these rounds in their favor. No, Eight to five. It is going to be our second round, second half. And we've got a sheriff from Ruri's here feeling good. Might be the only way they're feeling good right now. Again, that pistol. Well, it's still a close map. I think that's the big window for them to work their way. Ow, ow, ow. Yes! Woo, baby, that hurt. Self-heal. 
Doesn't feel as good, but oh, just gets out of a secondary as well. That would have put the bleed on, and he would not have been able to heal through that. That's like life flashing before your eyes. Yeah, it's very it. scary. He's probably considering, hey, I'm about to be rushed or taken down. We do have a bit of that lean now over from Heat. And things reset for just a moment as the audio cuts here. Spike has dropped, but it looks like the execute will be towards mid or B once it does happen. And they haven't shown very much. So Ooh. I think they, they still have a couple of options to work with. 50 seconds. And plenty of time. Yeah, you're right. They feel like they've gained good ground in A, so it looks like that is what they want, Doug. So Kesnick can make all sorts of noise, can draw out all that util, clear out the turret, draw out the, the really everything that's there. But will that be enough to draw rotations over? Will that be enough eye candy to make them think twice about it? NTK's already dropped. Mazino's able to get one. They dash onto the site. There's just one member remaining. Backside and heat. If there was anyone to do it, it's heat. But no, Nagzad able to clean that up. They have full access of A. Walls around. Screens is not an option anymore. Almost a shot from Uriz. Needed that Sheriff to connect. Can Vixen pick it up? Still has the classic in hand. Spike ticking away. And Joe's about to have his hands nice crossfire. full. Vixen was as well. So, crew win the round that they're supposed to win. Vivo yep. Key now staring up a four round deficit. And this is where they have to start to mount this comeback, right? Now that they have right. rifles, now that they can make something with the money that they have. But much like in the first half, Rev, while it was close, crew kept it competitive with how they were able to hurt the economy of Vivo Key enough to get them to a first half lead. Yep. <sighs> How will they make sure that economy does not go down this time? There is a res to be had on the side of Mazzino. And Vivo Keed looking with some rifles here on this round. Cosmic Divide almost up. We've seen that change the flow of rounds time and time again once the spike has been planted. How can it be played out on this one? Crew are going, baby. They're going hot and heavy. Look at that. They've already gotten into elbow. They had some presence up in heaven. The thing is, they have not established heaven control, My right? Word. So you can get onto A. You're going to put the wall up back in defender spawn as well to cause problems for NTK to work his way through. And that is a. I mean, you swing around that. You've got your hands full. Kesnit and Axe that there are the smoke to continue to cause problems. NTK trying to go in aggressive. Gets tagged up through the smoke. Has to self heal. And NTK lands the shots. NTK gets a second one. <laughs> Super smart play, holding each of the angles they need to. Klaus drops one, but it doesn't look like it's going to be too much for him as he is just getting the 1v1s, trying to get the peaks out. That was a freight train onto A from Crew. Super impressive there, but it looks like Vivo Keed patiently playing that one out. A deep breath before the retake, and they were able to take down every member of Crew on the way in. NTK with some big frags here from Vivo as he gets pressured from multiple sides. And really, I think at that point, they were huddled into sight, right? Yeah. Like, they were huddled into back A. So you didn't have heaven control. You didn't have ramps control, as we mm -hmm. just saw. And then there was the fight that ensued back in defender spawn, which was really the only place they could have turned that uh, either which way. But that falls in favor of Vivo Keed. So for crew, they don't win the bonus. They don't completely blow up economy but they still have a three-round lead. They do have a three-round lead, and now with guns, they think this slows down a slight bit more. Everybody wants a little bit more life expectancy out of the rounds they're playing, but Klaus is going to stop that dead in its tracks for NTK as he falls. It looks like they won't have that A coverage. Now we're seeing crew wait for Vivo Keed, rotate across the map. Still patient, right? Crew gets a kill. They don't need to do anything. They know they've scattered Vivo Keed slightly. The next move is going to be what counts. Now, Klaus has the alarm bot set up right, right at bottom yep. ramps towards A. He make just sure about lost it. Yeah, he yeah, just be clearing it. But to make sure that there's nobody pushing is pushing their way, right? There's no flank that's right. going to be coming around. So working, if they're leaning towards B with that setup, you presume they don't want to go the way the alarm bot was just recalled. So they want to go towards B here. They have a heavy stack. The lockdown's going to come out as well. Cosmic divide going to follow. And the thing is, you can play that back sight high-low to stay out of the range of the lockdown and still cause problems. And Kesnit's going to go forward. Yep, Vixen was there. We called it. He did get enough to get one. But there has been one player locked down. The spike should go down at the hands of Mazzino. And they quickly wall off Joe. He's not going to be able to do too much. 
Uri still has full utility, and there's the Cosmic Divide we were expecting to come through for this round. Crew look to have the numbers necessary to be able to take round 10 for themselves, or I should say round 16, and a 10th round for themselves. No damage really to be done. Maybe Maurice tries a little bit. He's always good for a few, and he will get himself into a dangerous spot on the exit. Oh, boy. Oh, spam down. There's no way you're getting away from that firefight. And now Joe going to find a nice little corner. Take to it. Mess around and find out. Yeah. Or so they Basically. say. Basically. <laughs> and he did mess around, see if he could get a couple uh, on the way out and paid for it with his life. But really, for crew here, you've got your your golden, right? You still have four up. Mm -hmm. You still got rifles. You even have three players who are going to go in with full right. armor. So you're sitting pretty financially. Uh, and like things have just kind of been cooking. Right? They were cooking yeah. in the first half and they've just continued here. And it, it flexes into those stats for the or for crew rather 68% defensive win rate for them. So they were able to catch a lot of rounds there. 62 attack side win rate. And that's like as I said, higher than Vivo Keeds. And Vivo's strong side was their attack. So those five they got in the first half, they need to be able to squeeze out a few more rounds here, especially now that the bankroll is up for crew. And you just look at the money. That one round for Q crew means the money almost resets for Vivo. As they felt good about one round, getting that 3,000, they buy, and now they're back on 1,900 credits in their pocket with whatever was left. Vivo Keed have struggled to find any sort of momentum, any sort of room to work with. And again, this has kind of been the story. This has been the narrative from the first half. They don't win the pistol early on in the second half. They don't win the next round. They yep. do win the third round, the bonus. But really, other than that, it's just been all crew. And you know, I'm admittedly a bit surprised. I thought I thought Vivo Keed looked looked pretty strong coming into this matchup, but crew has been very impressive. There. The teamwork is definitely on point. It seems like their rotations are in, in holds are very steady. Crew doesn't really, didn't want to give up any, uh, sorry, give up too much on defense. Only rotated as a team. And I think we need to see the same thing out of Vivo here. Not as much space to be given up. We're still early in this second half. And we'll see what happens once we can actually, actually get out of this timeout. Get the weapons in both teams' hands once again. Speaking of getting weapons in both teams' hands, we'll take a look at what both teams are going to be bringing in. Uh, as far as weapons go, it's going to be rifles both ways. Kesnit has that showstopper. You've got NTK who's a little close to the res. See if they try to prioritize that. No, he's actually playing across the middle of the map. Cool. Quick stars to deter the peak in mid. And you can see those Astro Stars creating pressure everywhere. Again, the three, the Caterpillar lineup, you can call it, going into B with that smoke and gravity well just behind it. This orb continuously focused. Vixen, maybe a jump peak. And Riv, that, that you mentioned that orb being continually focused, that's been on both sides of the proverbial ball, right? Yep. Mazzino was able to farm that on the defensive side, still getting it on the attacking half. So for Mazzino and for Crew, it's just kind of been easy, right? Have that res up as, as frequently as you possibly can, and it's all just because been, there hasn't been very much contesting. Right, you look at uh, the looks some teams have there. It's the, the turret for Killjoy. It's a sky that's there to flash. If you're not seeing anything, even after or before the utilities used, you just go for that every yeah. time with Why a little not? bit of backup. Right. Easy Why orb, not? easy orb. Mira's doing a nice job of playing the turret here as a little shield. Always fun to do. It could take a few shots for you. He gets away a little safer. And now crew, they're going to waltz on in, have a little party here in ropes and see how they react to this. Just on the other side is Joe. Oh, boy. He's had his hands full, but he's holding off just fine. A stalwart defense coming out from Joe there. He gets in on it as well as he's able to one-tap Kesnit, give him the business, and send him packing. There's no way in right now for crew. They tested things towards ropes. They tested mm -hmm. things up in mail, and no, every door is closed. I wonder if Vivo picks up a few rounds. They get Ten that money that left. they need. This is already a great start to it, and he becomes the operator again. He starts to come online. It's a name we say for Vivo all the time. I know I tweeted out and heat after his game because he was amazing. And we need to see that from him because it seems like it also builds confidence in the rest of the team to just follow that aggression and follow heat to a victory. Such a big play hanging out from Joe there because he was, remember, there was no, there was no uh, util heat. set up at top ropes. It was just him. There yep. was no nano swarm yep. at alarm bot that he could back up off of that continues to cause delay. He was, at least as far as ropes go, the last line of defense and he's able to hold strong. Excellent play there uh, from Joe. Now one point away from having the lockdown. <laughs> this becomes, wait, when you start going back and forth in rounds, you have to be very aware of what each member on your team is buying and how much money you have because 
the money starts to get very tight. Heat not really having to spend anything this round. And that's going to help the team as we focus on him here in heaven for a moment. Three pushing up mid. And Muri's there with the crossfire. It could happen soon. He just gets his own 1v1 on Nags. Crispy, baby. Crispy. And then backs up. Gives off the illusion that he's fully retreated. Well, the rat goes right back to the corner. Waiting to see if Kazan is going to drop. Oh, Kazan! No way. Get out of here. Putting a good amount of damage into the legs, but not enough to the head. Muriz goes down there. 4v4 as we keep this one going. Spike is dropped all the way back in market now. And it is a temp towards B. And there was a little noise being heard by Klaus at A. So it looks like B is going to be the finish here. Showstopper is ready. Is that just going to be a blast pack into the site coming in from Kesnet? But can, can Heat do the same thing that Joe did just a couple of moments ago? He's not necessarily as oh, low, he. but it seems like, yes, indeed, he can. The spike's down. The crew have continued to have problems going in, but Kesnet, can he have can he find some success with the Showstopper? No, Vixen drops. Heat's able to take care of Delzik as it's a 2v2. The spike just now making its way towards the site as Klaus is in a decent spot. Alarm bot makes sure nobody comes in from defender spawn. Kesnet playing down in hell. Double yeah. gets dropped. Klaus. In a 1v2, the momentum's been all about. but can he rip it right back into his team's hands? No, it's Joe once again, defensively holding up for Vivo Key. Uh, two strung together for Vivo Key. That's going to help. Maybe we see the op that KJ did for just one round. This is going to bring us a little closer to a tie game here. 8-10 to 10 as we head into the next round. And Vivo Keed is starting to pull it back just a little bit. We should still, I, I think if, if Crew wants to go in for the buy, with 1,900 on the money they had, they should be able to get some weapons into their hands here, I believe. And if they can't, Vivo Keed has done a very nice job of turning this game slowly into their favor if they can keep this momentum going now. It has certainly shifted. So it shifted. is going to be that eco. Yep. Corona weird buy here. You've got a couple of specters. You do have the rifle in the hands of Mizzino. Again, yeah. they, you see you see it, right? They seem to prioritize wanting to get ultors, get kills into Mizzino's hands to have that res online. The wall again. The instant wall shutdown. If you don't want to see the rush, you just shut the door right away. Crew can still go towards A. They will reset the map, though. They test what happens over on the side of the OK defense. But they have gotten the wall out, so Crew has a little bit easier access Ooh. to a site, depending on how many members they have when they get there. 4v4. Klaus. Oh, boy. That doesn't feel good. It's going to get pushed off by the nade. So positioning lost. Not that he had very much to work with to begin with. Mm -hmm. NTK gets that res online, but what do they do with it here? Coming back. Made a little pressure mid. It was just the KJ they saw. In the 2v2 hold right now for Vivo Keed could come up big, but it looks like these these this operator from Nagzet could do some damage. There is open angles he can find in a 1v1 if he moves up first. Yeah, this is just such a weird buy. Fortunately for them, the lockdown's on the opposite side of the map. NTK. 30 seconds left. Swings out. He's about to see a whole lot of something. But is he going to have the patience? He spots one. NTK. Down A. Oh, Grabbing. my wow. goodness. That's gorgeous. Axet's left alone. He's got the op. And surely he wants to try to save it in this situation. 13 seconds left. <laughs> Nothing doing. NTK get three. We've talked about the Whoa. defense from Vivo Key, right? First, it was Joe. Crispy. Multi-kill. Then it was Heat who got a couple of nice shots, and now it was NTK doing a bit of the same. Every single player has stood up in an impressive way in this half for Vivo Keed. Was that a concuss? And no, okay, it's just like it just whipped into the the gravity well there. Couldn't tell for a quick second. And yeah, the cleanup, the calls, the comms, everything's coming in real clear right now for Vivo Keed as they bring this to a possible tie game. Three in a row. So now a little bit more money in the hands yeah. of crew with that 2,900 loss credit given to them. We'll see if they can put themselves back on the board for an 11th round here. Mid space given slowly. Spike is dropped, so this is not the full commit. Just cross the map. A bit of a default here coming in from crew as they want to figure out how Vivo Keed will be pressured. 
And if they can work heaven and get some room to work with, again, the spike is down by garage, right? So Delzig's able to pick it up, potentially drop the cosmic divide and give them a bit more room to work with. But the thing is, you're even if you have heaven control, you're going to have to work your way through heat in garage to get the spike there. So they actually pull off. Heat is taking aggressive space in garage, knows that there's nobody coming in that way right now. Double look on Zipline. They're like, we're not giving any rope tricks up this time. All the utils watching back and forth. Oh, boy. Boomba, check it out. Oh boy. And that's off of the info that he's able to pick up from Garage again because of the aggressive oh. positioning that he got. Starting to feel that, okay, they're now working their way in through Garage. Good chance they're working their way amid, as they've done before. Great use of the utility. Here we go. The show's oh over. He's up above it. Cassidy able to dodge it and get the kill. Joe looking to get it back, though, as he cleans up Delzik. The spike is down in ropes. They still have to wake their way through. Joe's been cleaned up, but NTK looking to stop things. He's not able to do it. He did get one on his way, but the spike makes its way into A. I am loving this Rays game. It's a series of I can do anything, you can do better from each of them back and forth. This time, Kesnick coming out on top with a beautiful blast pack dodge. 3v2. Can he and Vixen make this count? They're playing together. You see Klaus making sure there's nobody flanking in. Coming in from Sewer. The alarm bot's going to give the position away. The turret's been cleared out as well. Surely they know at this point they have a great idea of where they're coming from. Yeah, he's not able to do anything, and Vixen is stuck between a rock and a hard place. Did get Mazzino, but Kesnick gets to three. And Crew finally Very stopped important. the bleeding. Very important round for Crew. It was getting a little out of hand there. Vivo Keed had their number round after round. <laughs> But it took things like this, Doug. It took tricks like that up the sleeve of Kesnit to make sure this round would come through. And again, finalizing a few kills at the end here with the rest of the team. Nicely done to drop Vixen and Heat. He's feeling it right there. They're pumped. They're ready to close this out. They might have uh, been getting a little worrisome there for a moment. But we're still guns on guns, and Heat has that operator again. Nags hits Blade Storm online. Dancing on the smoke, they playing a dangerous right game. But somehow manages to get away unscathed, at least for now. Res up on both sides. Expect this to be a little bit longer of a round, with that one first peak being quite aggressive, so they can get the re-res on it. It can easily start to open something up. It doesn't look like anyone wants to go for it yet. We have stars in heaven. And in mid, it is causing uh, Vivo Key to play a bit more defensive around B right now. They do normally leave A a little bit more open with that utility we see from Joe. And it looks like that utility is going to be coming into play here. Not only that, Riv, but Joe's been sitting on that lockdown the last few rounds, and mm -hmm. he hasn't been able to use it because they've been pushing opposite sides of the map. They haven't been going to where he's set up, but this is now an opportunity for Joe here as they are leaning towards it. You mentioned they have all that utility to work with. They also have that lockdown in mind, so in their back pockets, keep that in mind. Cosmic Divide coming out. They're blasting in. Turret plane contact. Gets cleared out. 30 seconds left. Gravity well on the back of the site, making sure nobody's there as they clear into it, or they're pushed to elbow significantly. The most of crew now into that A side. Cosmic Divide's going to slow them down, but we still, like you said, have the lockdown, have quite a few things to use from Vi Vivo Key. You should run. And they can wait this out and then drop. There it is. Whoa! Nagzet! Oh, man. Gets brushed by that op, but both lockdowns have been yeah. used. So gentlemen's agreement. Oh boy. Maybe tag one up, but should be able to get away with three. Has been tagged up as well. My goodness, this could be absolutely disastrous. Vivo Keeter going in aggressive. Yeah, there he is. Next second gets cleaned up. It's a bloody disaster, but can Vivo do anything better than a 3v3 here? Make that a 3v2 crew. In a better spot, but Vixen's able to get it. Vixen's left alone here. He's got the op, but he doesn't have time. The kill's going to come through, and crew get Last to map point. Standing. Oh, a master class in chaos from Last both point. teams. How to work around it, what to focus first. You got to have the priorities in the right order to come away yep. with this round, and yep. crew was the one to find it, even having three of their members locked up. This, These back and forths were getting this Whoa. game. It's like acrobats everywhere, Doug. Oh, my word. Dude, what a shot from Kesnit. And he's done it a couple of times now. He's yes. had a very impressive performance on this map. Kesnit definitely feeling it throughout this one. Picked up, like I said, as the streamer. But now everybody's just dreaming about him. This guy being huge for the team. He 
needing to pick it up for the other side of the rest of the squad. Not particularly Heat, but just the team in general not finding the rounds they want right now off of those players. They, we saw crazy headshots in their previous games. It just I seems that Crew has uh, Vivode's number. And it's going to be another slow round here. They're happy to wait it out and pressure Vivo Keed into a quick execution at the end of these rounds. Sheriff out for Miris. He also had full armor. So you can play that, play that slightly dangerous game. Um, play it with a little bit of insurance. Here for Kryu, they've worked up towards the middle of the map. This time it's actually the turret coming out from Klaus to make sure there's no flank coming around, flank contact. Kesnit has gotten the kill on Miri, so they're going to be able to work mid. Kesnit. But it looks like they're pulling back towards B. See if they can pressure this. I mean, that's their star, so if they did need to use it for any kind of distraction, they could. Into the site they go. Two teams to the backside. Ooh. Vixen and Heat with two big frags. Oh, he, Heat's Judge able to get a second one as well. Delzic drops. They tried doing something fast. They tried doing something hot and heavy, and Vivo Keed were wise to it. They don't give up an inch. They get to 10. Whew. That one, fe <laughs> Crew fell into the trap on that. And it was a bear trap back here. As soon as they hit, mm. this crossfire was absolutely disgusting. The shot from Vixen towards the back of the site and Heat with a quick two and two to drop B out. Uh, crew going a little bit faster than usual on that without realizing what was in the site, without knowing Util, they jump in. And I think they realized that bit him in the butt a little bit. Vivo Keed came out very nice there. Crew's economy, shambles. Yeah. Three sheriffs, a frenzy, and a classic. And NTK is what you're going to have to deal with here. The classic to clean up the third. And he's going to heal up, get away with it. Murder across the middle of the map. It makes it tough when everybody everybody drops at one, same spot or not. A few taps, tippy taps coming in from Muris. They'll know there's a rat in the sewer and flush him out soon. They can wait on the spike if they... That's one. That's Scott one. Rindies. You still got a long way to go, though. Oof. He cleans that up. And for Crew, I think that's such an important round because we talked about their economy being in a brutal spot. Vivo Keed getting to 11, and all of a sudden we have to start considering the possibility of an overtime banger Absolutely. to start the series. With the amount of confidence we just saw Crew shout and yell, and I actually thought they were going to be able to close this out, but it is never over until it's over. And Vivo Keed still knew there was room to come back in. Two rounds in their favor now, and it's such a look at the scoreboard. So back and forth. Each team able to get under each other's skin for only a moment, but no full ground gained there. Mm -hmm. Just a few rounds each time. We are back to that bye round. It is going to be a quick timeout called here to reset the nerves, see what they can do for a possible final round or a push to OT. Now, Riv, if your crew here, we just saw them dial up that hot and heavy that didn't work out, right? Like, right. <laughs> they tried. They tried real hard, but that base was not cracked open. Given the circumstances, given how close you are to potentially finding yourself in overtime, which is not where they want to be, given the lead that they've had, are you looking for something hot and aggressive again, trying to catch them off guard, or are you thinking something slower? I'm thinking something slower, how they're reading the side of Vivo Keed, I'm not sure, but you're seeing a lot of the same members together, right? Every time they do see a raise nade, it's just that raise nade. Every time you see their KJ, it's usually just the KJ, but you have a few members walking together. So once they identify those positions, I believe crew can easily work up mid, easily work into the sites they need to. But Vivo Key, these last few rounds, has been staying back to not mm -hmm. give that identification out of where it's just Maurice or where Joe, Joe may be playing alone in A. Because they set this up once again, Joe alone right. in A, Maurice playing by himself, and the double up in uh, zip for Vivo Key. Now Vivo Key are in a great spot here. They have that cosmic divide. They've also got the res coming through, so they have a couple of lifelines to work with to try to push this thing into overtime. Heavy littering of Util towards A and leaving Joe as the one anchor back that way. There. They're able to flex how this mid to B works nicely. They are working with two stars right now, so they have to stay concerned. And rightfully so, Crew is pushing up that mid area with a smoke out, but it's clear. Will he be able to make a play? Yes, he right there swinging off of the contact that was happening mid off of Mail takes care of Nagzet, a 4v3 in favor of Evo. Zeno very patient as he gets the cavalry coming up behind him. 
You will not kill my mother. There's a res that they may need. Oh, it's very, very brazen by Heat to go out in a full mid view. He gets himself to safety pretty banged up, though, and crew come out with a res. That's always such a risky spot, right? Because you pull the res, you know where it is, you swing out with it, but this time, as you mentioned, there was a beautiful stack up there to make sure that there were no shenanigans that went down. Yeah. Heat wasn't able to get anything off of that. It's got to be noted, too. They dropped the NTK before he could res this round, so crew already working with a bit of an advantage. Looks like Cosmic Divide maybe thought about here left. as they start to make their way over towards the A site. It is Vixen in astral form right now, waiting to throw it down. Playing off of the contact, the turret. Well oh, it is. They smoke off the turret. I think they may have smoked Whoa. off the turret, but you're right. The Cosmic Divide comes down. Mazzino is able to take care of Joe. He playing on the other side of the Cosmic Ten Divide gets cleaned left. up. So the wall goes up, the spike goes down. And it's a 4v2 in favor of Crew looking to put this first map away. Miriz and Vixen are going to have to find their way in and they're going to have to make something happen here. You see them both pushing in from opposite sides. Klaus is the only one playing outside of that cosmic divide as it expires. Now Miriz slowly creeping his way forward again. You've got Vixen on the other side as well playing off the gravity wall. Miriz with the swing. They spotted him. They cleaned him up. One down. Three more to go. Make that two more to go as Vixen gets things down to a 1v2. But he's got 33 health and the spike continues to tick away. I don't know that Vixen's going to be able to find room to find space. He's not. He didn't have time. He didn't have health. Crew, get map one. What a